Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another Minecraft Animal Showcase. This one is massive. Well, it's not going to be one, it's going to have to be flipping two. Uh, we are doing the final Asian Roof roof teams uh add-on this is the yes the sea and oceans add-on and it's massive and you'll be able to see some stuff in the back there's some krill down there there's some alligators and crocs and oh there's a person oh must show you that that's one of the new people uh in this particular add-on so this add-on from the asian roof teams uh adds over 50 <laughs> water creatures sea creatures whatever you want to say and luckily we found this lovely area on our map uh, to show this off so this is the final add-on they've done they're making another one but hey thank you asian roof teams you've just updated your information sheet and you mentioned it in the last video uh have a look guys if you haven't late updated in the last 24 hours go and download the information sheet 65 pages <laughs> it tells you all about every single animal so i cannot possibly tell you about every sound but i'm gonna i've been asked to highlight some of the fancy things that these animals do which they do so it's really exciting because obviously 50 animals i've calculated that takes us up to 243 separate spawn eggs in this game uh with the asian roost teams pack uh and let me just say at the beginning guys this this pack's been designed for pe users for phone and tablet users so it's been designed to make sure it works so what you'll find is like i complain about other mods and, and add-ons have too many spawns this doesn't have too many spawns but it has enough but it means is you can explore the oceans also guys this add-on has got some vehicles as well so there's so much to get on with so that's why we're going to split it into two uh two videos now as the one of the people has come up we're going to have a look uh so this is one of the people who is this the sailor seller so it's like it does bartering so if you catch loads of cod which as you know animals kill cod so you'll be able to go around and collect cod floating on the surface, hopefully. Uh, but you can exchange cod for everything, like barrels. Oh, yeah, barrels and, uh, as you see here, some of the animals you can catch in buckets, although I couldn't work out how to catch a, a snail in a bucket. There's also things like a shark cage. Can't wait to show that. Uh, that is the crab bot shark cage, submarine, 30 fish for a submarine that's low and a sub urchin so different sailors there's also another one called a diver if we come across a diver we will see and see what happens when we find a diver that would be interesting if we can find a diver but there you go that was good that that turned out i didn't spawn that person in it just sort of appeared uh, so what i've done is because we've got 50 i'm doing it in alphabetical order as per the sheet so if you've got the sheet up on the screen, you can watch the video and have the sheet open, which gives you more information. So let's start, go back to this, uh, the anemone. So I've done it in alphabetical order, but all the sharks, there's a load of sharks here. As the sharks come along, I'm putting them all together because I want to put the sharks in the deeper area over there. Uh, we, the 64 by 64 compliance textures for PE and bedrock are here. Also, I'm using uh, ESB3 shaders. And I know the ESB2s are the ones to work. That is something that I keep finding weird creatures. Uh, they are so fun. And that's an eel, is it not? Hiding in the sand. That's very clever. So let's start with the anemones. And I'm going to try and, uh, as we go through the stuff, try and work out what it is. So the anemone a little things here. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it's bigger than I expected. Oh, my God. So... There's sea snails there. There's not much room to put the anemone down. All right, let's put let's make a space. So the sea anemone at night, every species of clownfish will actually hide in the anemones. So I have got a clownfish here. I think have I got a clownfish? I think I have got a clownfish here. Copper fit. But oh no, I actually haven't got a clownfish. Let me go and find the clownfish. We've got one spot for that because I should have done that. Clownfish saddleback clownfish spawn clownfish skunk clownfish cinnamon clownfish ah is that the normal clownfish it says all of them so we'll put this one in guys we'll put this one in let's just put that there so we're not going to show everything but we're going to have to try so this is the clownfish let's see because these are our traditional clownfish okay 
So let's see if this works. So we'll change it to time set night and see if that works. Oh, look. They're going to hide. Oh, very clever. And they actually hide at night. Look, this they actually go and disappear into. Ah, right. So let's go back to daytime, guys. We won't do this for every creature. I'm just showing you some of the things. And the clownfish all appear again. They all come out of there. That is really clever. Uh, so next up, guys, we've got sea snails. We saw the sea snails down here. Uh, sea snails hides it in its shell when it's hurt. So shall we hurt one? Let me just get this. So can we hit it? Can we hit it? Oh, yes, look, it hides. There we go, it hides. Also, you notice you can put a sea, uh, a sea snail in a bucket. I really don't know how to catch one, though, because when it does that, it gives me an empty... Uh, there's the empty bucket there. So if we go and get rid of the clownfish, because we didn't supposed to have had that, and we go and get that empty bucket, you're supposed to be able to catch them in a bucket. It may be the fact that... Uh, Maybe the fact that there's, it will only, only work in uh, survival. Because we're not in survival. We're in, in that. Right. Okay. So what's next? We have the sea crate. Oh, my God. It's now raining in here. The sea crate. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yes. This is the like the little black and white. It's like a worm as such. I call it a sea worm. Sea crate. Very good. Oh, they swim quite fast. And we're very lucky here, guys. We've got a ravine here as well. Oh, my God, they're down there. Looks like they're burning, actually. But there are other sea crates come down here. Excellent. Excellent. Right, next up, a, a blanket octopus. Oh, yes, I saw this. This is quite big. Now, I would, I, I've got to say to you guys, the octopuses are the most amazing octopuses. They are brilliant. There's so many of them as well, and they just like glide through the water. Is that thing, is that the thing making the noise? But they are really good. Look at that. Fantastic. Maybe it's just those bubbles. Or it's me when I swim. Probably is actually. Oh, so yeah. Wow, aren't they good? And then there's this, uh, sorry, that was this blanket octopus female. This is the blanket octopus male. Oh, it's Diddy. Oh, it's Diddy compared to, ah, right, there we go. So the female's massive and the male's small. I do wonder whether or not they uh, would eat each other afterwards. Blanket, blanket octopus. Female will unroll its veil if hurt. Aha, right, let's go to the female. Oh. Oh, look at the veil. Oh, wow. So there's no veil. Oh, how beautiful is that? And then it will swim off as fast as you can. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and also, we'll unroll its veil if there's a predator nearby. So if there's a big shark uh, nearby, it will also do that as well. So it's got to be like a shark or a sperm whale. That's brilliant. Okay, guys. Let me just get rid of this rain. All right, that's better, guys. The sun's coming up. Oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> it's one of the sharks just like standing on its tail. That's interesting. Yeah, look at that long tail. Uh, so, yeah, and this, these come in buckets as well. Uh, the male one, after reproducing, loses, loses its, uh, one of its tentacles and then dies. So it doesn't get eaten. It still dies. So <laughs> never mind. Uh, right. OK. Next up then we have the blue faced angelfish. Oh, wow. It's quite big. They're quite big, aren't they? Wow, sir. Lovely jubbly. Oh, the first octopus, guys. We've got the uh, we've got the blue ringed octopus. I just love the octopuses. God, just this, these add-ons just give you so many things to do. Except that's not blue ringed as such. So I, I don't get that, guys. I'm, am I missing something here? Missing something? No, okay. So uh, 
just remember that, uh, guys, there is so much information, like how to keep them, how to look after your creatures, and stuff like that. Blue ring. Hmm. There we go. It doesn't actually, so eat shrimps and crabs and squids and stuff like that. Wow, absolutely. So, right, okay, let's go and do some shark, shall we? And what are you doing spawning in the middle of the ocean? That is just super weird, guys, some weird stuff. Right, so these are the sharks are all, because they're all uh, lower down. There's over 30 sharks altogether in this particular add-on. So we're going to show off these ones at the moment, and then we'll go through. But yeah, 30 sharks. Oh, my gosh, there are so many. Right, so let's go. Let's start with, oh, sorry, yes, I haven't mentioned the, the coral. So there are a load of different uh, coral. Uh, this is just, sorry, that's not, it's a glowing coral blue. Uh, I forgot about that. Let me just do that a second. So there are a load of different coral here, which come out, and that was just accidentally in there with the thing. So let me just put all the coral out and then show you what they all look like. But like there's a glowing Coral green, golden, yellow, red, magenta, orange, white, uh, and then pink, and then indigo. So it's just there. So let me just put all the coral out, guys, and then we'll show you the coral in one go, and then we'll move on to the sharks. So you can see, guys, at night, there is some beautiful coral. These glow in the dark, absolutely brilliant. This is what Minecraft needs, you know, compared with some of the other, there's some other coral, of course, over there that glows. Uh, but these, I found these absolutely truly fantastic. So you can see probably better out. So they glow, they glow, they go, they go, they go. Yeah, they all glow. And the other ones don't in the middle. But they, these, I like these. Like something out of an alien movie. Uh, and then there's green ones, and then we've got these lovely golden ones. We've got the, the daytime corals, like the red and the yellow and the orange and the purple. And then we've got these glowing ones as well, which are really cool. Of course, those are the orcas, guys. Standard orca colours. Uh, very nice. Very nice to have orcas. Seems to be a lot spawning in, though. Maybe too many, but there we go. Right, so that's the coral. So let's go on to the sharks at last. So first of all, guys, a bamboo shark. But, oh, a cage has spawned. A shark cage has spawned. Ah, that's interesting. Ah, can we just click it to get in it? Yes, we're in it. Oh, wow. So you can put this on a string. Uh, I think I would like the bars to be a bit narrower so we can see. Do we get out of it like a normal? Oh, so we get out of it like a normal, normal creature. We just get out of it. Right, okay. So let's go for the bamboo shark uh, oh nice that's like a, a little bamboo shark wow very nice look at the swimming an animation it's very good very impressive yeah very nice slow and steady I do like this the, the uh, underwater creatures how, sm how slow and serene they move Okay, right, basking shark. Basking shark's got something really interesting, guys. So during the day, it will open its mouth for a certain time. It's big, so it's big. Let me just move back, come on. There's the basking shark. So if I put some krill, uh, that's not krill, that's krill. Here's krill. Let's see if we can get some reaction to the, the basking shark. Of course, it's moving now, isn't it? So the krill uh, expands, uh, expands, as you can see here, it's expanding. So it says, uh, it, it will open its mouth for a certain time, passing nearby krill or close to shrimps as well. Notes it's only an animation, so the animal will not kill, kill them. So I wonder if we could see this. I'm not sure if it does, but it does do it. You have to watch. So if you have it in like a... Uh, I'm not sure we can get it to work. But do you see the krill? And we haven't done this. Look at the krill. It expands. It is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, what? No, it's not going to do it. Let's put a couple more basking sharks, shall we? Put it here. Are you happy? Yeah, it's just swimming slowly. 
it's basking there we go we'll leave that there and it's night again already my word Oh, there's another shark. Oh, there it is. The mouth is open, guys. Did you see that? Oh, yes. It's the daytime as well. Oh, yes. The basking shark mouth is open. We're happy now. Superb. Right. A beluga whale. Or beluga. It's not a beluga whale. It's a flipping poor poisy thing. Uh, yeah, beluga. The beluga. A dolphin. Oh, what is that? Do they come in different colours? No, it's a different dolphin. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, blue whale. Oh my god, let's go over here for a blue whale because we know how big these are. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a big blue whale, guys. See, I knew they were massive. I think that's the first one I've seen. I haven't seen them naturally spawning. Oh my god. Did that, like, spurt... Oh, it's gone for a deep dive. So it came up to breathe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So it's got loads of different animations. I like the fact they're dead slow animations as well. Excellent. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Right, a blue shark. Blue shark. Oh, look at those teeth. Wow. Look at those teeth. Plenty of teeth there, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Right. Uh, a dugong. This is like a... They live in the rivers. Uh, yeah, they live in the rivers and on the river bank head, actually. They will be allowed outside. Will they go back in the water, though? I, yes, they will go in the water. They will. Very cute. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's get the next batch of sea creatures out. Right, guys. So uh, we're not we're we're getting through it now. It took it took a bit longer at the beginning. We'll go back. We'll start going through once you get through some of the special creatures and sharks and stuff. So we'll come back to here because I really like this area because of all the coral and stuff. So because uh, this is where you get these things, I just love these krill. I just love the animation. Uh, so blue tang, guys. A blue tang. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. These are all different fish that you'd put in your aquarium. There's also a fish tank as well, which the fish tank takes up to three small fishes. So that's interesting. It means you can do a proper aquarium. I would like a giant fish tank, but you can make your own with glass anyway. I just love the octopuses. So that's the blue tank. Oh, a box jellyfish. Now, of course, I got this wrong the other day because I'd already shown this. This is, will be an update from the previous Asian Animals pack. Of course, this now... Also, it's brilliant, guys. You just have to download the one pack now. It has absolutely everything in it. All 243 creatures. There may be 244, but 243 spawn eggs there are. And there's obviously more. Uh, so there we go. Right, I like that. Oh, cinnamon clownfish. These are gorgeous. Look. Ah, oh. So we got lots of different clownfish. Again, when you look through the thing, when you come up, you're going to have to, it's easier to type the, the common name. Like if you type clownfish, all the different ones will come up. Clams, there's also different, is there different clams? Oh, I saw this before. They're like little clams. I was expecting bigger clams, you know, like the giant clams. Maybe we got some somewhere. I don't know. We haven't, we haven't even got through the creatures yet. But that's quite nice, isn't it? And we've got a coleocanth because obviously they're still alive. Do you still find coleocanths? Very nice. There we go. Seem to be all the same colour. But they're very nice coleocanths. So a copper band butterfly fish. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the tropical fish. Absolutely brilliant tropical fish. Really like it. Oh, a crab. I think this is just a normal crab. Yeah, we've seen these before. I thought they came in different colours, but it looks like it just is red. But still very nice and very fun. And you can put these on the beaches as well. Yeah, 
There we go. Ah, cuttlefish. I uh, don't think there's anything special about cuttlefish, although some of the creatures eat them, of course. Yes. Oh, it's two different colours. That's a, Yeah, there was two different colours. Or is that... Oh, what the, oh, brilliant. Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these guys. Let's see if we can... Let's see. Oh, there's green ones as well. And pink ones. And colourful ones. Oh, love it. I love this brightly coloured cuttlefish. I think that's fun. And the green one. And the brown one. And obviously lots of things get eaten with cuttlefish. But I like the multicolour rainbow one. I think that's really cool. Right, an emperor angel fish. Oh, I think we've seen... Oh, no, it's different again. <gasps> I want to build a big aquarium now. There are so many things you can build. Uh, in fact, if someone's been using... Uh, I'm also interested in worlds, guys, so animal worlds and that. So I've just seen a new world that I'm going to showcase. But if the, I only showcase big worlds, so I won't just showcase like just an aquarium. But I'm quite open to showcases people's worlds if they've got them available to upload. So they need to be available to others uh, to do that. But yeah, the aquariums, because I know lots of people build zoos and stuff. I like that. Right. OK, so let's get the next batch out. Right, so we've got a load more, a load more sharks as well. Are there sharks eating their goats? That's quite funny, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at this. So we have got a flame jellyfish. A flame jellyfish. Oh, yes. Now, did we see that we've seen these before? Uh, they've probably just been slightly updated. They're very nice. I like the jellyfish in this particular add-on. Uh, so we've got a female butterfly fish. That's the female. What is happening there, guys? Is that the jellyfish eating them? Uh, and then there's a male. Ah, is it because they're fresh water? A forceps butterfly fish. Oh, maybe they're fresh water. Maybe they don't like uh, seawater. Oh, well, there we go. We're subtly about those. Giant moray eel under here. Oh my god, it's massive. Yeah, it's a giant moray eel, all right. Oh, look, it moves as well. Super cool. Nice one. Uh, hermit crab, right. Hermit crab is a land animal that was spawned on a beach. <laughs> Let's go and find a beach over here. Uh, not in water. However, in the game, it can breathe underwater but will not float. Like the what's name? Like that's the what's name crab. So, okay, so we put it underwater. Hermit crab, that is definitely a hermit crab, guys. Spawn on land. Uh, also, it will sp if you spawn it yourself, you will have to provide a seashell. Oh my God. Well, that's it, right, okay. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we got a seashell. Seashell. Oh my God. There's all seashells. Uh, shall we? Ooh, which one? Okay. So we just have a go at this, guys. We'll put these out because we've done these. That's going to be interesting. I was asked to show these off. There's a spiky seashell. Uh, let's have a pink one. And let's have a pyramid one. Let's try that. So, how does this work, guys? Do they go to the shell? Oh, yes, look, 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 look. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, right. So, oh, superb. Look at that. So it wants a big shell. Do they get... Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, wow, guys. They get the big shells and they go in them. Oh, that is amazing. Go on, he wants a shell there. Go on, go on, go on. Yes, got a shell. <gasps> I've never seen anything like that in Minecraft in my life. That is just amazing. <laughs> wow. It searches for a seashell if it hasn't got one. Uh, it, will, it will, when hurt, it will panic if it's not carrying a seashell. Otherwise, it will hide inside. So hit that one when it hides inside. Let's see if it'll panic. Where's the panic one? Oh, it's panicking. It's going mad. Let's put this. Are they all here now? Let's have a look. Will it go inside? Uh, it's not going inside at a certain time. 
Oh, it might actually go in. You're right. Let's just put some more down. Let's put some more down. Panic. They are. That is just truly amazing, guys. That is so impressive. That's well worth it. They go looking for their shells. Get a shell. And they have all different ones. They are. Shall we, does we get a shell here? Oh, no. It's gone. It's gone. You, you're panicking, guys. You need to get on the beach. Absolutely brilliant, that is. Right. Okay. Horseshoe crab. We saw one there. Uh, horseshoe crab. I don't think there's... Any, I mean, there, like, there's a whole page on the hermit crabs. Uh, and there's things on dolphins and that. But the horseshoe crab is a long-living crab. That is really nice. Yeah. Horseshoe crab. Warm beaches. They can go on land in water. So let's just chuck a few in water over here, guys. Oh, it goes upside down. Oh, and then turns over when it hits the ground. <gasps> oh, amazing. And it moves. Oh, yeah, that is... <laughs> so many different things. Right, spider crab. These are massive. These are massive, or should be. Yes, look at that. Oh, spooky spider crab. Let's put a couple out, shall we? Oh, amazing. We like that. Yeah. Spider crab's going to be on the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, right, so a lapu lapu. Oh, it's like a, coli, a small collier camp. A lapu lapu. And finally, guys, on this section, because we're going to go back to sharks. Oh, look at that. Lionfish. That is super good. Super good lion fishes. Wow. Look at that against the sharks as well. That I must admit, those spider crabs are amazing, guys. Amazing spider crabs. And the lion fish, which are really good. I really like that. Super lion fish and super spider crabs. Right, let's go and get the sharks out. So another shark cage has spawned in here, guys. They just like spawn in in places, which is really good because you could just go in and pretend to watch sharks from the cage. Right. OK, so these are sharks and whales so let, and porpoises, of course. So let's start with the finless porpoise. We've seen these swimming around before. They've all got sounds. Hear the sounds. Very good. A fin whale. Oh my god, it's another great big giant whale. We're not going to put another one in there. Superb. Absolutely superb. So, uh, a frilled shark. Let's have a look at this. Now, there we go. No, there's nothing on these, but they're, they're... All the animals have got like, you know, 65 pages of information. They've got so many different things. You can look after them and stuff like that and how to tame some of them as well, I think. Uh, a goblin shark. Oh, this is that evil looking thing. It does look like a goblin from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I love the way it's got this. Really captured that really well. Really nice. Uh, a great white. Great white. Does it eat these people? They should, shouldn't they? It would be good if it attacked. If we Some of the fish uh, creatures do attack uh, the, the undead as such. But that looks quite nice. It's an undead shark. So many sharks. <laughs> there used to be no sharks in Minecraft. Now you can have like 50 different sharks. Obviously. Is that making a noise? That's really good. Yeah, so brilliant sharks. Right, next up, a hammerhead. Now we've seen this before. It's spawned before, guys. But it's still very nice to have in the game. Like that. And then a Hong Kong dolphin. Ah, this was what that dolphin was. Beautiful. My God. You, you might as well have like, there's no point. Oh, is that, uh, is that orca going in here trying to eat something in here? Don't know. Don't know. Maybe it's just spawned in there. That giant whale in there. Uh, and then a mako shark. A mako, mako shark. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh, I had the Hong Kong dolphin. I should have told you something about the Hong Kong dolphin. 
uh, I missed it because I'm trying to zoom through on uh, a laptop as well as play on this. The Hong Kong Dolphin comes frequently to the surface to do an acrobat. Nine possibilities of acrobatics. Let's just see if we can see any of them, guys. There's one there. That one's splashed out. So it does nine different types. Of... Oh, wow. Look at that. So that was a spin. That's done a spin and a, a, a half, half, whatever you call them. Oh, that's done a, oh, that's done it up. That's done it up. That's done a dive and an over. That's done the super spin. That's, <laughs> they're all going bonkers, guys. Wow. So it's these ones you want. Nine different possibilities of acrobatics. But there's so many things in this. We haven't seen that green fish yet. Definitely haven't seen it. It's probably a Minecraft one. Oh my god. So you need to keep them you need to keep them in a pool as high walls, guys. Because you don't want them jumping out of your pool. Whoa, look at that. Superb. I think I'm gonna get back to my building. <laughs> right, okay. And finally, a manta ray on this particular batch. There's two more great. God, that's making a noise. We've seen the manta rays before, guys. Look at that. Oh, it's the otter. Glad to see they're here as well. Fantastic. Really nice. Right, so there's two. We've got two big giant sharks here, guys. The giant megalodon, which is superb. So let's have a look at this. Mammoth shark. We've got a mammoth shark. Let's put it over here. Whoa, I wonder why it's called a mama shark because it's quite big. Very nice. And then we have a, a mega mouth. Oh, I thought there was a megalodon. Maybe there wasn't a megalodon. I'll have a look now. It's a mega mouth. Maybe I missed it. Let me just check, guys. Maybe it was wrong if I put in meg. No, it wasn't a megalodon. Gosh, there we go. I thought there was a meg. Oh. Hold on. Mega. Megalodon. Megalodon jaws. Fossil. Oh. Hold on a second. There is a megalodon. I can't spell it. Am I spelling it wrong? Megalodon. Right, let me just find out because is that like a is that like a secret shark or what? Megalodon. This entity is an Easter egg created by completing a megalodon fossil. Right, megalodon fossil. Let's have a look how you do that. I'll find out how to do that and I'll do that now. Right, guys, here we go. This is how you get the megalodon. So you need to go and find all these four different types of fossils. You need to use the submarines, which we'll show in the next episode. The crab bot or and go and collect them. Once you've collected them, you've got to find the pink glowing, uh, glowing coral. Uh, place the body of the shark. Uh, that's the skull. That's the skeleton. Oh, there we go. It says place the body body skeleton right okay so next to oh my god yeah put it next to uh and then all the other parts to the center of the skeleton right so if we put the head oh look and the jaws oh my god and then the fins oh oh, oh it's growing <laughs> oh my god that is just <laughs> oh whoa 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 megalodon oh my god that is just brilliant guys i'm so happy that that were it oh it's eating the eating it goes and eats eats stuff wow that is just brilliant I've never, uh, that is just brilliant guys, let's get a second Meg, so let's just do that, bang, bang, oh, need to put it on, bang, needs to go on I suppose, it went on didn't it before, oh yeah, it's going to work, oh, that's the wrong type, 
I don't know whether this will work now because we did it now I need to do it over here guys maybe it's so put that on there like that then put the head on it's not working now maybe it's used exhausted it uh, that's worked that's worked so we've we'll gone put the tech and put the head back on there guys it's got to be in a certain position there you go and then the fins so we're going to get a second meg now guys yeah there it goes there it goes so we should be able to get this to to uh, do a lovely shot let's watch this guys and it should come to life and then go there we go it's good it's good isn't it we like that yeah it's a meg <laughs> i really like it really like it i think that's absolutely excellent absolutely excellent <laughs> right guys oh i'm so happy i got that right let's go and get let's go and get the last few creatures before we move on my word we're going to finish these creatures off and then we'll we'll finish this episode because we've still got so many creatures to look at in the next episode and also obviously the uh it's <laughs> already coming obviously the uh the vehicles as well so this is a lobster we like lobsters oh wow it's massive massive it's a lobster i like those can we have some pink ones please they're all red. Can we have pink ones? I want a pink lobster. I know. There we go. Uh, majestic angelfish. Beautiful. 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 Uh, a mandarin fish. <gasps> oh. Let's go and put them on here because I want to see them. Aren't they beautiful? Mandarin fish. So you, for me, if you can find a... Oh, that one. We still haven't had that one yet. Uh, a maroon clownfish. Let's just get rid of all this so we can see them a bit better, guys. Oh, yes. I can't wait to be able to put all the clownfish together. It'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, a mimic octopus. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Now, the mimic octopus does something. I just need to have a check at that, what it does. Right, guys, so the Mimic Octopus changes shape and locomotion every 10 to 15 seconds. So it changes how it low, low and it then see variant section to mimic some other animals. It, 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 imitate one of the following animals every 10 to 15 seconds. Banded sea crate, flatfish, jellyfish, lionfish, starfish. Oh, that's why it's doing the starfish. Uh, oh, wow. So it mimics different creatures. That's very clever. Very clever. So that's doing a starfish starfish jump. <laughs> very good. Right, a moon jellyfish. We had these last time. I love these because they glow in the dark. They do glow in the dark. Moorish idol. Another, another beautiful fish. God, you see aquariums are going to be fantastic. I think you have to do. Oh, the en anemones we've had before, guys. We put them in. And we, we showed how the fish, the clownfish, go and hide in them at night. And we've seen the krill before as well. I think that is it for this episode. So, guys, let me just go and put the shaders on to finish off uh, to see what it looks like. We use Kelly's shaders at the moment, but I found another batch of shaders today. So I think I'm going to do some shader, use this to do some... So guys, these are the Kelly's shaders. There's two ways to use the shaders. One is I'm using this... Uh, I'm using it with the texture pack here. So this is with the texture pack that I have 64 by placing the texture pack higher than the others. And if I change it back, you can see now that this is the Kelly's shaders without the texture pack. And you notice that the water is super clear because I'm using Kelly's super clear water and it still looks really good. Uh, it's up to what you want. If you're in the sea water, then I use it this way. If I was doing a land build, I would use the other textures. So it just shows that you can change it. So you can see what it looks like with the sun up. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And if we go into water, guys, to see what's under here, you can see the rays. Now, obviously, if you, I'm on bedrock and I've got a super computer with RTX. So that's the way it works. But look at the krill and the jellyfish. 
and it just looks amazing, doesn't it? And you get the reflections, like in the real world, you get reflections uh, where you get that at the top. So it looks super cool. That's a cage. Um, let's just go over here, because remember we were over here, I think, showing off different lovely fish. There's the dolphin jumping out, of course. Oh, there's, the, I just, one of my favorite, the uh, tiger fish, I call it. Is it tiger fish or lion fish? Absolutely brilliant. So there you go. You can see it, they create shadows and it's all good fun. It's like going underwater. It sort of, it makes it really immersive. Uh, so if you're in your, uh, going underwater with your submarine, which we're going to show next time, guys. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, please make comments. I am trying to answer all the comments, but I'm getting so many comments now. It gets really difficult, but I am trying to answer them. I may not answer them on the day. Oh, yes, there's the jellyfish here just chilling out in the sunshine. Are they cool or what? Right, guys. So there you go. Uh, thanks very much for watching this episode. It's absolutely brilliant. When you find a coral area like this, you could sort of portion it off and stuff. Uh, we haven't shown you the uh, the deep sea diving stuff yet to go hunting. Uh, we haven't found, we didn't find uh, where there's the special places where you find the megalodon bones. I particularly like these. I think these are very good. Uh, we haven't seen some of the creatures that you've seen here. They will be in the next episode because we've got a load of creatures. Oh, that's one thing we haven't got. Seagull. We need seagulls. Sorry, it's a UK thing. Uh, we need seagulls, seabirds. That's a good thing. I know uh, the the people are working, Asian roof teams are working on the river. River, but seagulls, that's what we're missing by the seaside. Some seagulls. Right, so that is brilliant. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a long video, it was, but we are, I mean, especially with the Meg and, and all the secrets and the Easter eggs, that was brilliant. And these shark cages. So we'll see you next time, guys, for the next part. Should be very quickly after this. Uh, it will be maximum one day. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Go and look at the description of this video. It's got all the information you need in it, guys, to go and download it. As I say, uh, it's... Oh, the diver! The diver! We found a diver. It's right at the end. So right at the beginning, we had one. And there's a diver. Hello. Ah. So the diver, you can give flint to. So you can have to do a lot of sand. And it gives you all sorts. What is that? Insect. Clam. Right, okay. An insect. It's blacked out. Does that mean that, that the only way you can get the insect is to do that? That's interesting. Fish tank. Oh, yeah, we need to do the fish tank. The small fish tank and large fish tank next time. So I'll show that. So thanks very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.